everybody, it is your boy Tomb Place here, back in a video. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. So today we are back with part four, if I'm right, of the cafe series, and um, we're gonna be talking about how to make an overhead GUI, um, specifically the one that is relatively in boba. Um, like I get, like I said, you guys were basically following their theme, so we're gonna make everything in the game from scratch. Oh, they don't kill me. It's all right. But um, if you're new to the channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button. Um, for some of you guys who may be watching this video and just want an overhead GUI, just to let you know, this is all combined with the cafe series, but, um, you are able to get it all in the description either way, and you can mess with it how you like, and I'll teach you that in this video. Um, you can even just get rid of this icon if you'd like. Uh, but yeah, so, um, all the links in the description, I want you guys to go down there right now and actually grab the model because it is down there. And once you get the model, we're actually going to go into studio, but, um, it should just look something like this. And uh, you can just grab this by claiming it, downloading it, whatever you like. It should just be this one. Um, so just grab that. And um, yeah, so I'm going to, yeah, let's uh, let, let's actually just hop right into studio right now. All right. So like I said, if you do have, um, if you do get the model, depending on how you get it, you can either get it through your toolbox um, right up here in the first corner, or you could get in the model down here and download it, um, whatever you like. Um, but yeah, so once you click it, you're actually just going to import it just like this. And um, I already have mine in there, but um, you're going to read this. Like I said, if you um, need the stats script or the asset convict, um, you can find that in this model right here uh, for those who are just watching. Um, if not, though, no worries. You don't even need it. on. By, uh, honestly, you don't really need that. Uh, it's up to you. Uh, the stats, though, you will kind of need depending on a leader stat board. But um, yeah, so guys, all you have to do for the people who have been watching the series, um, just got to drag these all into certain places. So replicated storage, of course, server script, and then starter character scripts. Um, pretty simple stuff, actually. Um, so yeah. Um, also, when it comes to customization, um, I am going to make another video uh, later on about uh, making customization for these overheads so like people can buy you know UI gradients and stuff like that kind of like how Boba had it super simple stuff but I'm gonna add that later in because um, that kind of has to go with the UIs and everything like that um, but yeah so as you can tell I actually have three icons on my head um, and I'm gonna explain to you why um, this is for developers this is for customers I mean everyone in the game and this is for management so um, this is something I decided to add because some it probably is already a thing for Boba I just can't see because I haven't met anyone but um, this is great for cafes for people who want to like talk to managers or talk to developers or even owners um, you can have little icons that are custom for you um, but yeah so we left off of course with all this and as you guys can tell I actually have 31 points because I added them to myself but um, as you can tell I'm actually ranked number two right here and I'm gonna tell you why um, so how I decided to go about this was um, actually Let's go. Let's talk about that in a sec. Um, so I'll kind of explain to you the few things. So AFK script in here are super simple. This is just firing to server when the player like is getting out of the window. So if they click, if I'm like right now, if I'm in, this is the game you say, and I click out like right here, it's going to say fire this to the server. Okay. Um, so tr as true and then false, uh, super simple stuff. Um, and then of course we have, uh, the, uh, overhead script. This is the AFK handler. Um, so this one I used to make people force field material because this is my last one I made a while back and people use this, um, uh, but you're just going to check AFK status and AFK event. Um, we're just going to create an AFK event if it's not in here already, which, you know, it's, I, you can just do that. Um, but yeah, this is the function right here. Um, all it's doing is we're grabbing the GUI of the player. Um, and then we're grabbing the character and their parts. Um, if they are AFK, then we're going to set all their body parts to force field. And then we're also going to set a tag right here saying AFK dot player name. So it's going to change that username tag to uh, say that it's player their AFK. And then, of course, if it's disabled, then it's going to set back to plastic. Um, this is the on server event. Um, we're going to check for the AFK status and then update AFK. Super simple. Um, so overhead scripts a little more to talk about, but we're going to go into these first because I want to talk to you about how you can customize this. Um, so if you want to actually just take a look at this, um, all you have to do is insert a part into workspace and then you just drag this into here. So, um, this is the overhead UI. Don't drag the overhead icons just yet. So as you can tell, this is how it looks. Um, pretty simple stuff. Now, when it comes to customizing, you know, if you want to change the image, go ahead and, um, change the image. Um, you want to change the rank, uh, you can change the textile. You can do anything you want through here. Um, I personally like these ones the best. This is what Boba had. Um, and then of course, you know, go ahead and customize how you like. 
but um, super easy, you guys. Um, and then I can even just uh, say username right here. If I, want. Uh, I don't know why it's replaced dev. I guess I left it like that. And then, of course, inside the star, we actually have a text label saying level. So this is another thing you can also customize depending on how you like it. Um, I can go with like a, a white and red. Uh, I kind of like that as well. So, you know, if I want to go like that, I can. Uh, but now let's talk about, yeah, and um, also if you guys just want to delete this, you totally can. You just need to change things in the script. So don't worry about that. Uh, but let's talk about the icons. So let's say this. You see how I'm just dragging it in and it just automatically places itself? It's because I have that, I set the position and the size to certain things. So if you do decide to change the icons, it's probably going to change with the sizes. So just mess with these values right here and fit them to your liking. I recommend just aligning them. Um, because I'm not personally right now using a UI um, like list layout or grid layout because I just didn't want to. Um, I thought this would be easier for you guys. And I thought three would just be best because, you know, developer management, that's all you really need. You don't really need any more icons. But what you do is, you know, if you want to make one, um, like I said, so I could just do one for demonstration. Okay. Um, you want to do an owner icon. Um, oh, gosh. Um, owner icon, you know, I can basically position this to wherever I like. So I want to go like 0.3 maybe, let's say. Okay, so I'm going to go, actually, I'm going to move this to 0.4, right in the middle where the star is. And then I'm actually going to go up. So I'm going to go up to, let's go like negative, oh, not negative 1, uh, negative 0 0.5. So like 0.1. You also just have to be careful because, yes, so you see right here how this little boundary is. Um, that means you'd have to change this yourself uh, by, uh, and there is max distance, by the way, you guys. You can change this to your liking. Um, I would not do that. Um, but then, um, yes, yeah, size right here. So if I need to make this wider or bigger, you can do that. Um, but yeah, so sorry, that's kind of what I'm trying to show you here. But you just mess with the values how you like. And then once you're done, make sure to put these ones back in here. Um, keep the star one on here because this is the main one. And then you put it back in here and you're done. So that's basically how you customize it. Pretty simple. Um, oh, I also didn't really explain um, in here. There's these UI scripts and gradients, which I'm going to leave in here for now. These are what we're going to customize later when you guys want to do, you know, customization for the overheads. Um, but yeah, so the script, um, let's explain this. So it's a little much, but I want to explain it to you. Um, I'm going to say real quick, ChatGPT, help me out. Thank the Lord. So, you know, make sure, you know, you ChatGPT when you can, because this thing literally just saved my life because... I was so cute, so confused on a little simple script. Um, it was just this portion right here that I was so stupid about. But um, yeah, so basically we're grabbing the services, of course, and then we're grabbing the overhead locals, um, and then we're grabbing the two modules, okay? And we are grabbing the asset config module because we do need to grab the group ID from that. So like I said, you guys, this is totally customizable. This is literally done for you. You don't even need to touch the script um, if you are following this whole tutorial by itself. Only thing you really can touch is this points module, which I'll talk about. But um, yeah, so when the player joins, we're gonna grab their character after checking if they're they're loaded in fully, and um, we're gonna grab a few things. Okay, so we're gonna grab the humanoid, the head, points, which is the player's that leaves that points. Um, now, guys, um, what I figured out is I think Boba's using their points leader stats and not the Boba bucks because um, Boba bucks you can spend and the points are, are just something you earn. And for this to work, you know, by doing levels, um, we want the grab the points because those don't deduct. Those are always going to stay constantly growing. Um, so basically what we're doing is we're going to be checking the points. And then if they have a certain amount of points, we're giving them a certain level. But yeah, so make sure your humanoid display distance. We get rid of that um, name for them, original name. Now we're going to grab the overhead UI. What we're doing is we're going to clone it. Okay, you always have to make a clone because you don't want to just grab this little thing out of here and it's never going to exist anymore then we're going to grab all those variables which is you know of course the, the stuff right here inside um so we're going to grab all of these um then we are going to set the initial text values so rank levels guest um star levels one and username is player name so um yeah that's always going to be it's they're going to be rank guest everything like that super easy um then, of course, uh, basically what we're doing is the little function, update level, uh, four points. And then, so this is the point thing I'll talk about in a sec, actually. Let's talk about the group rank. Um, so basically, roles guest, of course, like I said, um, I actually probably did that right there. Um, so role equals uh, player, get role in group, group ID, and then rank label dot hex equals role. So we're just going to get the role in the group, and then we're going to paste that name, which is super simple. 
Um, so yeah, if they're the customers, their staff, their management baristas, we're just going to put that text onto that rank portion. portion. Um, now this one is adding the icons. So adding the icons, you're basically checking to see if they are certain rank and if they are, then we're going to give them the uh, icon or variable. Now, like I said, you guys were using the asset config. So we're going to check inside of here and we're going to go all the way to ranks down here. Okay. Uh, group, sorry. And we're going to the ranks. Um, see how we're going into, oops, we're going into group dot ranks and then dot developers. So we're going to go to this one dot ranks. So 250, but we're checking if it's above. So if anything's above, so let's say right now I'm actually an executive and I'm above, it's still going to give me this, uh, overhead, overhead UI. Um, and also for this same thing. Um, it's checking if it's above and it's the management and then it's going to print that icon. So that basically is going to be all of those icons. You can change this to making it so it only gives you one. The only way to do that though is by um, adding an else if statement um, instead of doing two if statements. So pretty simple. Now for the update level function, um, basically you're going to, um, all right. So, um, yeah, sorry about that. I was talking for a sec, uh, update level. So we have this whole thing right here. So, um, basically let me just say this real quick. We have a local function called update level. This is going to be updating the level, um, and level by this, what I mean is that little, uh, number in the star. Um, so initially we want to call this because, um, like the points haven't changed or anything. So this is when they load in, we're going to call this function, which I'm going to explain what it does in a sec. And then, um, this is going to check if the points change. So if the leader stats, you know, the little board, if their points and numbers are changing, then we're going to use this update level function. So how this function works this is the function that I had to use chat for because I'm stupid. So we're going to grab the points and data in pairs and, um, we're going to go to points module. So in here, we're going to go to points dot ranking. So we're going to go inside here. Then we are going to grab, um, the points dot value, which is going to be this, uh, the leader set value. And if it's greater than or equal to data dot points, so basically it's data as in saying one of these are just, this is data by itself. So one whole thing of this, this is data. We're going to go dot points. So if it equals 1200, let's say, then we are going to do the star level dot text equals two string data dot level. So data level, and then this right here. So we're going to make it a string. So that's pretty much how this works. Now, when it comes to how you want the levels to work for them, I made a preset already for you, kind of, because I don't know how it works for Boba, but I think it's like really like slowly incrementing by a certain amount of points, but you can customize this to your liking. So feel free to mess with this, but all you got to do is, you know, like, let's say you want to add 15 or get rid of something. Um, you just say, you would just say 15 and then you would go points equals 15. So they have to have 15 points to hit this certain level. Um, so level three. Um, but yeah, so I just went and did one level one through 10 and I just made it all the way up from, uh, yeah, zero points is of course, level one, 10 points is level two, 50 points, level three, hundred points, level four, 300 and et cetera. So it just keeps going. So I hope you guys kind of understood that it's pretty simple. Um, actually not too complicated. Um, I thought I would bring this out to you guys because it's kind of fun and I want to make this a little tutorial, um, just to really go in depth about it. But um, yeah, I hope you guys kind of understood. Um, now, if you guys do have different leader stats, like I said, always um, you honestly don't have to worry much about changing things. Only thing you really would have to change is just this. Like you could change this to whatever name your point is called or level or whatever, and you don't even need to mess with anything else on here because basically it's going to just be a local variable throughout the entire script. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little tiny tutorial and um, I will see you next video. Bye-bye.